Hey guys, it's Andrew over BHA here bringing you a updated video. Now I know I was supposed to be doing a video on the Alexa custom skill. Just didn't have time to get that put together by the end of this month. Uh, that's going to require me to open up my home assistant uh, configuration externally and everything. And I don't currently have it set up that way. So just didn't have time to get that put together. But I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. This was another requested video uh, that had come up, so I thought I would do an updated version of the uh, Shinobi CCTV in Docker. So this is a uh, it's a pretty easy setup overall. Uh, we'll go through everything, and even uh, we'll even try to add a camera at the end just to kind of show you how all that works and uh, at least get you going if you want to uh, go with a Shinobi uh, CCTV. All right, so let's do a quick run through of everything we're gonna cover in this video. So uh, for starters, we're gonna kind of create or build out the file structure needed uh, for this uh, Docker container to work properly. We'll do all this on the Docker host, that way we'll be able to uh, modify any configuration if we needed to. Uh, once you do that, we'll install Shinobi in uh, Docker using Docker Compose. Uh, it's a pretty uh, simple setup, but we'll get that going. And uh, once we do all that, we're going to go ahead and log into the web interface of uh, Shinobi and create a user account. And then lastly, we'll just kind of walk through adding a camera into Shinobi just to show you how that works. So let's get started. All right, so here we are on the Docker host. Uh, so in my home directory is where I usually create a lot of my... Uh, configuration files and stuff that I use with my Docker containers just makes it easy to access and uh, know where everything is and everything. So as you can see here, uh, here is a, a image from the Docker web page for this uh, Shinobi container. And there are several uh, volumes that are used for this container. So we'll want to kind of build this structure out just so we have it ready uh, for when we do the install. So for starters, I'm just going to create a folder called Shinobi. This will be where all my configuration and everything will go. Uh, inside that directory, I'm going to create four subdirectories. One of them will be called config. Uh, the next one we're going to call custom auto load. The one after that is database. And then, of course, lastly, videos. As you can see, all of the folders are created here. Now, once we create all of these uh, directories and everything, we should be ready to go and uh, move on to that next step. All right, so we are ready to install Shinobi CCTV using Docker Compose. So of course we need to edit our uh, docker compose.yaml file here. We'll find an open spot down here at the bottom. All right, so uh, of course, I'm trying to keep my uh, configuration somewhat clean here. So I'll add a separator in here uh, so I can uh, separate this configuration out. We're gonna call this Shinobi. And of course the container name will also be Shinobi. We're going to set the restart to always. All right, so for the uh, volumes, this is where we're going to take advantage of that uh, file structure that we just created. Uh, so for the first volume, slash dev, slash shm, slash shinobi streams, colon, slash dev, slash shm, slash streams. After that, of course, we have a uh, slash home slash Adrian slash Shinobi slash config. This will be colon slash config. After that, we have slash home slash Adrian slash Shinobi slash custom auto load. And that will go to colon slash custom auto load. Next is slash home slash Adrian slash Shinobi slash database. 
colon slash var slash lib slash mysql. And then we have slash home slash Adrian slash Shinobi slash videos. And then we'll go to slash opt slash Shinobi slash videos. The next section, of course, is ports. Now this uses port 8080 by default. I'm already using that with a different Docker container. So I'm going to have port 8090 point to port 8080 just uh, so that this will work properly. So you're gonna wanna use just 8080 colon 8080. Uh, that should work for you as long as you're not already using 8080 for anything else. For the environment, it's gonna be uh, app underscore branch equals dev, D-E-V. And then lastly, for the image, it will be shinobi systems slash shinobi. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And then of course, we're gonna do a sudo docker-compose up-d and let it run through the install and download of the uh, Docker image. And once that's done, we're gonna jump over to Portainer just to take a look at that uh, Docker uh, container to make sure everything is working okay. Click on Shinobi here. Everything looks pretty good. All the volumes are created. Let's just click on logs. Looks like everything is up and running. We are good to go. Let's uh, move on to that next step and create a user account. All right, so in order to access the super user area of uh, Shinobi, we basically will go to the IP of our Docker host, which for me is 10.10.10.28. And then like I said, normally you're gonna use colon 8080 for me because I uh, you know, had to uh, choose a different port. I went with 8090. And then at the end of that, you're gonna say slash super user. This will take you to the super user or admin part of this page. The default login for this will be admin at shinobi.video. And then the password is also admin. Once we log in here, we can create a, a user for this. I'm gonna call mine adrian at shinobi.video. You can call yours whatever you want. Go ahead and give it a password and then hit save down in the corner. And of course, as you can see, we now have a new account created. So we're gonna go ahead and log out of that. And so we wanna log into the regular part of the web interface, not the super user admin part. So in order to do that, just remove the super user at the end of your URL. So it'll be the IP of your Docker host, which is for me 10.10.10.28 colon, 8080 and then basically you'll go there and you'll have a, a green login button that's how you know you're at the regular web interface and we're going to use that new login adrian at shinobi.video with the password that i created we are now logged into shinobi uh, cctv so far so good let's move on to that last step and see if we can add a camera All right, so we're gonna hit this plus up here at the top. And I mean, you can change all kinds of different settings here if you want. I'm gonna leave it as watch only. I'm not looking to record anything uh, at this moment. You certainly can if you want to. We'll give it a name. This camera is uh, one of my front facing cameras. So we'll say front one. And there are different input types there. As you can see, I'm gonna leave it set to the default, which is H.264. And I'm just gonna add in the uh, RTSP stream path. Put 
put all that in there. Obviously, it'll be different for whatever type of camera you're using. And I'm going to leave everything else the default. You can certainly make whatever changes you want, but it should work as it is here. We'll go ahead and hit save. Give it a second to populate. And as you can see now, I have uh, a camera added to Shinobi. That's it. It was that simple. All right, guys, that's pretty much the end of this video. Like I said, uh, we wanted to walk through uh, installing and setting up uh, Shinobi in a Docker container, which we've done. And we went all the way through the whole process, created a user, and also created a camera down here at the end of the video. Pretty easy setup. So if you guys haven't had a chance to mess with Shinobi and you're looking for something uh, to monitor your camera, this is definitely worth giving it a shot. And if you guys are interested, I can do a video installing Shinobi just on a base Ubuntu build. If that's something you guys want to do, not in a Docker container, but just on a uh, Ubuntu Linux system, uh, we, can, uh, we can run through an install video on that as well. I did one a while back, so I'm sure it's fairly dated, but we can certainly do a new version of that video if that's something you are interested in. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, for starters, we uh, created our file structure on our Docker host uh, that we used with uh, our Docker container. Once we did that, we installed Shinobi and Docker using Docker Compose. After that, we went ahead and logged in with Shinobi and created a uh, user account. And then lastly, we just added a camera into Shinobi just to show you how that worked as well. That's the end of the video, guys. Again, fairly simple setup, uh, not too hard to install. Hope it runs well for you and you can get it up and going. Uh, like I said, if you're interested in seeing another type of install for that, uh, just let me know. Otherwise, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.